Marcy, right now the Cameron County Sheriff is warning people to avoid crossing over to Mexico as the threat of gun battles continue between rival criminal organizations in Matamoros and Reynosa. Right now, the consulate in Matamoros is warning about gun battles between Mexican government forces and gunmen on roads near the border. Dr. Guadalupe Correa Cabrera, chair of the Department of Government at UTB, tells Action 4 News it's an ongoing fight between criminal organizations that control Reynosa and those that control Matamoros. The leaders of these organizations have been arrested or killed, and now we have a different type of violence performed by these um, by this uh, fa factions of these organizations that are still like like that are still armed and and, and would like to to continue existing. Correa says the situation has only gotten worse throughout the years, and now the violence is coming closer to the U.S., prompting alerts for American citizens traveling into Mexico. There's no sense of security. You had all. I mean, this has been taking place. The, the whole century, this, this new century, and it got really, really bad in 2010 when the Zetas and the Gulf Cartel separated. But um, the situation is not getting better. Matamoros residents we spoke to say while they feel safe traveling during the day, at night it's a different story. You do what you have to do during the day and you don't go outside anymore because everyone is really alarmed with everything that's going on. I go out of my house and I don't know if I'll come back, but God is with me, so when I go out, I just trust him. And if the Mexican government does not take action soon, Correa says the violence there will only get worse. The municipal authorities in, in Matamoros, they have been alleging that the federal government has not done uh, much and they tell people to go to their houses instead of, you know, <laughs> uh, coordinating with the, with the federal agencies and, and, t and telling everybody that, that they will be fine. Now we reached out to Customs and Border Patrol to ask what they're doing to keep Valley residents safe. They responded with a statement saying, quote, for security reasons and in order to maintain the integrity of our operations, we are not at liberty to discuss specific security arrangements at our international bridges, end quote. We're now live in Brownsville, Nora Salinas, Action 4 News.